I'm being stupid. Welcome to my channel. Blip. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And Bertuccio? Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again. For everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. Indeed it is. Arrivederci. Escort Maria and Claudia out of, out of Florence to the Villa Auditori in Monteligiori. That we shall do. That we shall do indeed. So, for right now, we're gonna have to say goodbye. We have uh, stuff about Claudia Auditori. We already read that, so. Okay, press to order allies to stop or follow. Hmm. I guess that is gonna be really important. Otherwise, I'm gonna fail if I don't do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm doing stuff here. I'm trying to get out of, out of the city. I don't want none of your business. Okay, let's just blend for right now. We're gonna use every technique that I learned so far. We're just gonna do that. Like, oh, why not? Also, we have the contextual camera. I didn't know that you can... Hmm. I didn't know you can use that, like, outside your hidden... Hidden, uh, like, uh, thing. Or maybe you can. Oh, no, wait. What, wait, wait, what? Um... Where did I get the money? Okay, now that I can throw money and all that. But... I don't know... Where did I get like 50 gold? Did I get it from one of those guys? I don't think I used space. And all that. Okay. What the fuck? I'm being attacked here. I'm being attacked by free... Singing people here. Jesus. This is like... Oh my god. Fuck off. No! No! I had enough of you singing here. Okay, so... Okay, we're still not done. We're gonna have to go outside the city. Like, how long is it till... Uh, till the entrance? Like, the entrance like, here. Okay, can we just walk a little bit faster? Try not to bump into somebody. Otherwise, I'm just gonna steal... Without me knowing. And steal money. Okay, we're just gonna do that. Can we just... We can just run here. We can just jog. We're just gonna jog for a little bit. Jogging! I'm jogging, ladies and gents! What are you looking for? Oh my god, there's still more people singing people. Get attacked by free people! Again! It's free singing people! Get out of the way, boy! Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just run. Just fucking run. All of them are, are running from me. That's what you get! You're not supposed to sing around me. Man, how rude are some people? Okay, uh, courtesans. Okay, we're gonna have to buy that courtesans in order to get past this. Like, just gonna lock on them and then uh, hire them. Okay. Okay, there you go. Gonna have to lock on to somebody and Let then just gonna it. distract those guards. Yeah, distract that boy. I think that man uh, deserves... Everything. Oh my god, look at all of them. <laughs> Man, look at this. This is definitely something. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at those guys going after them. Jesus. They are pretty desperate, must say. Well, it is like... Uh, we are in like uh, 1400s. Or 1500s. If I can say correctly. Okay, Monte Johnny is like... Right there. I think where we should go and look for a horse. I don't know 
What do you say, ladies and gents? Should we just walk all the way to Monterigioni or just go with a horse? Although I don't see any me. horses. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Okay, so apparently we're not gonna get like any horse. Like I don't see any horses. There are like horses like inside, but we couldn't get them. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Monte John is like, can we just go to San Giminano? Jimmy Jimmy Nano Nanio? Oh yeah, I don't know. I would like to go there as well. I have never visited what that place. Who went to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. No, they weren't. <laughs> You're just lying at you. They are the enemy. They don't even care about a proper burial to their enemies. Or I, I don't know. <laughs> they are pretty bad. Memory Sync Sequence 2. We're done about the We're done. Let's go to some Gimilano. Super slow motion jump. Okay, sequence free. What do we have here? We have Monterigioni here. Toscana! 1476. <gasps> Burpy burp. Uh, twice. Well, this place doesn't... It doesn't really... It doesn't look really well. It doesn't look good, to be honest. Uh, I'm certainly gonna miss, like, Firenze for right now. We should be close. Grazie, Dio. Okay. Did we actually just walk all the way here, like, without horses? Like... Hmm. I don't know, I guess, I, I guess I'm gonna check after and see what the distance is between, like, uh, like, Firenze and uh, Monte di Gioni. I actually, I don't know if Monte di Gioni does exist, I'm gonna have to check that as well. If Monte di Gioni is just a... Just a fictional place. Escort Maria and Claudia to the Villa Auditore in Monte Gioni. I don't know, well... I don't know why they would make like Monte Gioni like fictional. And the other places aren't, like the other cities. So I would assume that Monte Gioni exists. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. <laughs> ah, I don't think so. Probably gonna have like a like a viewer of mine that is also Italian. And he's gonna say, "Oh, how come you not know about Monte Gioni that he's it exists?" Like, how dare you? Unsubscribe. Oh, I'm very sorry, I mean, I don't know stuff. I'm just a st I'm just stupid. You should know that already. I grow tired of this game. Finish him, and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! Yeah, you better just run, buddy. You should just run for right now. I'm just gonna attack all- Hey, 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 hey. You're not allowed to attack them. You're not allowed to attack my brother. Hey. hey. What the fuck? Stop attacking them. Jesus. They are just like flies. They are just gonna- Oh. Well, you... You were trying to run there, buddy. You cannot. You cannot. You do attack- you either, you either attack me or not. Or you either die. It is your decision. Okay. We have uh, we have a guy here. Oh, okay. That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Okay. Mother? Sister? Are you okay? Okay. They're okay. I'm just gonna do that. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario. Uncle Mario. Hey, Mario. Oh, it's been too long, Ipote. <laughs> Far too long. I 
heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. We met Uncle Mario. It is good. It is good. Okay, now we have like horses. We have horses that we can ride. Hey, there's a chest here. Well, uh, why not? Who the hell would just hide this treasure all the way here? Like, I don't know why. I don't know why you would you would hide a chest with monies like there. I don't know why. Okay, so we have hey, we have like the assassin like uh, sign there, which means this place is is gonna be my home, sort of. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be my home for right now. Okay, Casa Dolce Casa. Explore the Villa Auditore with Mario, or as I like to call it my own language, Casa Dolce Casa. So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? Okay, we have like information here about Mario. Uh, excuse me, ladies and gents, I'm gonna read this because I, I like to. And if you don't like this, then you should probably skip this or just... Hey, whatever, do whatever you want. One of the several condottieri patrolling the Tuscan countryside, Mario totally played a significant... Sig uh, <sighs> okay, just take a little bit of a break there. A significant role in the Battle of Anghiari, alerting Micheletto Attendolo to the appearance of several dust clouds over the road which signaled the surprise advance by Milanese troops. Okay. Thanks to Mario, the Milanese attack was foiled and the Florentines won the battle. Yay for Mario! Although Mario sided with Florence in Anghiari, for most of his career he defended the interests of his hometown Monteriggioni, derailing Florentine attempts to seize Tuscan territory. While Mario's younger brother Giovanni moved to Florence in 1454 to pursue a career in banking, Mario stayed at the family's villa in Monteriggioni, stating in a letter to Giovanni that he preferred fighting like a man to filling out balance sheets. Okay. I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monteriggioni. I thought Monteriggioni was an enemy of Firenze. <sighs> For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. <laughs> what? I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. Hmm. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are, Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? Dream. I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Makeme Combini Giovanni. Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. <laughs> 